We're just outside of Philadelphia as tomorrow the Army West Point football team kicks off their 2016 campaign against Temple at Lincoln Financial Field. But we're still going to get you ready for all the action at West Point. We'll start things off with the Army West Point women's rugby team, the national runners-up last year in 15s, and they're starting their season this year where they left off last year against the Quinnipiac Bobcats, who defeated them in the national championship game last year. So the Black Knights got a little bit of revenge on their mind. Um, pretty good, to be fair. We've got, did some math the other day, there's 95% of walk-ons, so we've only got two girls who knew what a rugby ball looked like. And um, to their credit, they've all been working really, really hard. We introduced some stuff that was a little bit new for them and uh, we brought in a couple of assistants who have really helped and um, they're starting to get a grasp of it and um, yeah, I think it'll be, if they stick to that then it'll be really good. Yeah, it was, what was it, 19 all with six minutes to go and you know, they scored a try which was, you know, that's what happens but you want to be in those moments, you want to have a chance at the end to, you know, the last 15 minutes of a season to, to win, your, win your last game. You know, fair do some, they did it, but um, you know, it's a new season, new players. Um, really excited about the younger group and picked up a couple of uh, juniors that are, no one knows them yet, but I think by the end of the year they'll be talking about them big time, so I'm really looking forward to that. The Army West Point men's rugby team starts their season tomorrow at the Anderson Rugby Complex as they welcome in non-conference foe Stony Brook right before conference play starts next week against Iona. Head coach Matt Sherman has a brand new team this year with a lot of graduation last year and is going to want to see what the new depth looks uh, like. This we look good. We're uh, very much a work in progress, a lot of kinks to be worked out, but I think the enthusiasm is high and we're improving rapidly and that's the most important thing to us. Yeah, there's a lot of opportunity, a lot of uh, positions up for grabs, uh, which creates competition, which we love. And uh, we're going to need guys to step up. I think they will. And, and we're going to need uh, new guys to extend more leadership. And so far, they've been doing a good job. And rounding out the action this weekend at West Point is the women's soccer team as they host UNC Greensboro on Friday and then DePaul on Sunday. Despite not scoring a goal this year on the season, head coach Marsha McDermott has been encouraged with what she wants to see this year out of her team and knows everything's there as they're just looking for that final touch in the offensive third. Well, we're completely focused on ourselves and on what we're doing. We know we're playing two excellent opponents this weekend, and of course, uh, we'll know a lot about them um, as we get to Friday night, but really our focus is on ourselves. We've improved quite a bit defensively as a team. Uh, we feel like we're in a good position with that right now, and uh, we got to focus a little bit on creating better scoring chances and on finishing. We love playing at home, first of all. Clinton's a great field. It's going to be fantastic when the stadium is complete. Um, our fans are excellent. We always get a good crowd, and the crowd's always enthusiastic and supportive, and they make a big difference to us, so we love being home. And, you know, we know we want to defend our home turf. When you step onto the field here, there's a special amount of pride. It's a beautiful place. It's a prestigious place. When we step out on the field here, these guys are definitely playing for West Point. On the road, it'll be the Army West Point men's soccer team as they look to get win number two on the season. It's a battle of the Hudson Valley as they're going to be up at Poughkeepsie in Marist. The Black Knights golf team gets their season started at Colgate, as well as the men's and women's cross country team. They get their season started in the main dual meet up in Orono, Maine. That's going to do it for your weekend preview. For Night Vision, I'm Zach Daly.